Should I tuck my, I feel like I should do this. Is this the thing yes. I should do? It feels natural. <laughs> you want to be all cowboy, dude. Yeah, exactly. All right. With over 700,000 miles of highway, Texas has more room to roam than anywhere in America. But it's not just the highways that are big. It's a cliche to say that everything is bigger in the Lone Star State. But today, we're going to prove it. This is All Roads Lead to Texas. Big wonder. The Big Texan is like a classic Route 66 roadside stop. In 1960, my dad had the idea of creating a contest. So he said, all right, we're going to bring one pound steaks out. And whoever eats the most gets it for free. I looked at the size of the steak. It's insane. I feel that I may have been steered wrong. What are the rules? You can't stand up and leave the table. And if you get sick, the contest is over with. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. All right. <laughs> Y'all give him a round of applause and cheer him up. I made a terrible mistake. This is so much food. There's no way. You can eat a bread roll. And he's starting to get that real glazed look in his eye that says, what have I got myself into? How is there still so much meat on this plate? It feels like being hit by a meteor. A meteor. Is this a uniquely Texan thing? The Big Texan has always presented a wet canvas for people to come in and express what they feel about Texas, what it is. I had like something out of my worst nightmares. Why are things bigger in Texas? Yeah. Because Texans say they are. As <laughs> simple as that. Now I don't have to eat for like another two weeks. I live here on the mountain. Actually, my house is an old control room to a telescope. They're all, you know, observatories have to be in these remote areas on tops of mountains, in the middle of desert. They really feel almost monastic, a place where people go to dedicate their life and soul to searching for answers to the mysteries of the universe. Some of the questions we're trying to answer here are things like, what is the story of the universe? It will never not blow my mind that you're looking back in time. What is our destiny? Where is this all leading? Are we alone? You know, basic things. <laughs> Astronomy, baby. This is the Hobby Eberly Telescope. It is the largest in North America. If there's no issues with rain, I will open it up. That would be really cool. Sell to Rachel. Come over here and type in the object. Type in moon. Can I just write moon? Yep. OK, where is the moon? Wow. Smell for the faint of heart. You really have to commit yourself. I started about five years ago when I was 14. What's a good time on a bowl? Eight seconds is a qualified ride. That's such a short amount of time. It is the longest eight seconds ever. <laughs> I've never been to anything quite like Billy Bob's. Largest honky tonk, largest bar, and small scale rodeo all rolled into one. I just like dancing always. You can come out and dance a little while and that stress just kind of falls away. Out and in, I turn, turn, shimmy, two, three, four. Toe, heel, toe. I came out here to dance. There was a ton of people already here. They've been coming forever, for years and years, and they're gonna keep coming till they can. I think it keeps you up and going, and moving, and doing. How about you, you wanna line dance? When I got on the dance floor, it was a whole different scene. They were doing all kinds of crazy kicks and moves that I didn't know. I gotta practice. I gotta work more to get my line dancing up to Billy Bob's dance. 
Texas has a reputation for big things. And that's, that's here, that's true. But there's also this glimpse of real awe. Everywhere we went, there were people just having the time of their life, finding something truly unique in this incredible place.